And welcome back. Uh, hang on just a second here. Oh, yeah. San Bernie Sanders. The other, the other thing that I wanted to share with you today is uh, uh, Bernie Sanders calling out the union movement and pointing out that this is, this is a great way to uh, deal with oligarchy and corporate greed. I mean, and, and frankly, I don't think that there is any other better way to call out oligarchy and, and corporate greed than to do that. So number one, I wanted to point that out. The other, the other thing, and, I, and I, you know, as I mentioned in the first hour, the other thing though is Ron DeSantis. This is totally weird. Uh, Ron DeSantis uh, you know, ha, is basically exploiting the fact that you know, parents worry about their kids. They worry about their kids in all different kinds of circumstances. You know, the first was, oh my God, your kid is gonna be made to feel guilty because he's white and, uh, you know, et cetera, the whole, the whole CRT thing. And now it's, it's uh, Disney wants to uh, uh, turn your kid gay. I mean, that's basically the, 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 the pitch, this whole don't say gay bill. But what's really weird is that while DeSantis and the Republicans in Florida are out there portraying themselves as paragons of morality, and we're going to protect children from predators. Matt Gates, who is accused of being a predator against a child, have, you know, paying an underage girl to have sex with her. Matt Gates, there, there's you know a, a person who has some knowledge about this. This is whether this, uh, this person is uh, DeSantis' appointee to chair the Florida Business Licensing Agency. Um, this person's name is Halsey B Bashirs. And Halsey would apparently know whether these Venmo payments to this underage girl, you know, would know the details around them. Now, Gates has denied that he made payments to her for sex. He said he was trying to help her out, giving her a little money for school. Right. But DeSantis is doing a cover-up down here, in, down there in Florida right now. He says, uh, you know, because the, the news media wants to see the records. They're using these open records requests to get the information. And, and Florida, by the way, it's, it, it, uh, speaking of kids in Florida, it's even worse than that. Um, down in Florida, there, excuse me, down in Florida, there is a, uh, a, a real problem. This state has a real problem right now with their foster care system because DeSantis privatized it. So now it's for-profit companies offering child care and there's just all these scandals about child endangerment and abuse popping up in the foster care system down there. Um, it, I, it, I mean, Child Protective Services should be the last thing you privatize. But, you know, hey, DeSantis and Republicans, hey, let's make some money on this. So anyhow, the, the uh, Open Records Act down in Florida says that, you know, the, a, if a news organization or anybody sues to, to have public record information, that it has to be provided as soon as the uh, person responsible for conveying that, it's, it's called the custodian of the records, as soon as the custodian can accomplish that job. And the custodian of the records typically takes one day to deliver documents. Well, the news media want to talk, want to look at the documents that have to do with Halsey Bashir's knowledge of or oversight of or whatever, Matt Gates' Venmo payments to this underage girl that he says he was helping, helping her with school and others are suggesting that he was paying her for sex. And Ron DeSantis has put a hold on these documents. He's saying, no, you can't see these documents about Matt Gates paying underage girls for sex. You can't see them, sorry. And they're saying, why? And he's like, well, I need to review them. And the review might take, well, I don't know, a few weeks, it might take a few months. It might take until November after the election. Who knows? I mean, he's not literally saying those words, but that's certainly the implication. Matt Gates is up for re-election in November, as is every other member of the House of Representatives. And it's looking more and more like Ron DeSantis doesn't want to have a sex scandal going on when he's trying to become president, which will, you know, come along in another two years. 
So just wanted to flag that for you. Keep an eye on this story. This Matt Gates story has the potential to really blow up in the face of the GOP that is trying to make themselves the, the, you know, the, the QAnon party, that we're concerned about those children being tracked out of that pizza parlor. This is their thing now.